a button. Good morning, live from New York. There you go. We got a we got a kind of a interesting week, Fourth of July week, and uh, you know typically there's a lot of people on vacation and uh, uh, people. You guys in the auto repair and tire business, this should be one of your one of your busiest weeks of the year. I'm thinking. What do you think, Randy? Well, it does get busy. I mean, um, I, yesterday all the stores were just slammed, and I don't know about you, Curtis. You probably were too. Uh, you know, we were definitely very busy yesterday. Yeah, we had to find parking out here, but uh, it's uh, probably tomorrow it'll die off a little in the afternoon, and Friday it'll be a little wonky because um, we're in more of a resort area, so a right. lot of people travel here, and most of the locals prepare to stay local, stay on back roads, and do stuff like that while the tourists are here. Because we're, I'm only uh, about 15, about 20 minutes away from Ocean City, Maryland, Lewis, Delaware, Bethany Beach. So right, cool. beautiful. I told area. you I have relatives in Delaware. Did I not tell you that, Curtis? Uh maybe at one point. Yeah, my mother. I heard my a mother. call like that. A uh, guy was coming from Maryland, I think, on vacation this week, and he wanted to beat the tax. So he wanted to forget what it was for, but he wanted to do something. Maybe oh, a, a, a roof on his Jeep or something. I forget what yeah. it was. A new top on his Jeep. And he wanted to try to save the tax because he was going to be in Delaware for the week. There's no sales tax in Delaware? No sales tax mm -hmm. in, De in Delaware. Yeah, that or maybe it's, obviously it's less than Maryland, I guess. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. How much is he saving in tax that it's that big of a deal? But I guess. Oh, there's no is. sales tax in Delaware on. Uh, like part sales and work and labor. So Maryland is, I think, 6% tax. So it depends how big your ticket is, you know? Yeah. Cool. Well, let, let's, ju let's jump into it, guys. Uh, again, Curtis, congratulations. I said before, you guys are following in the footsteps, footsteps of Randy Callie and Same Day. You're becoming a 20% company, you know, and, uh, and, and that's the game. And, and it's all... I know that you guys haven't spent any more on uh, on advertising. It's not about that. It's about really communicating way more effectively and also doing all the work, you know. So I had uh, today. I was about a little bit about motivation. I also wanted to share with you guys uh, how I practice singing because there's tremendous parallels, and I can just share this with you guys that l learning to become a singer was has been a, a, a life altering experience for me. I started when I was 40. I didn't have any training as in music or anything when I was a kid. I was in sports all the time. But when I hit 40, I got a message from God. And God looked at me and said, Dan, you will learn to sing. Right? And then in the same conversation with God, he said, you will learn and you will study and you will practice the material of Eric Clapton for the rest of your life. <laughs> That's what, I've been, that's what I've been doing. That's a whole other story. But the, but the practicing, the practicing, the learning, the material, I want to share a little bit about of that with you guys today. And so I start off with, not with the music quotes, but one of my heroes is Steve Prefontaine, who was in his 20s, early 20s. He died when he was 24, but up until that time, from the time he was 18 to 24, he was like the best runner in this country and he's very vocal and he has some wonderful quotes and this is one of them you, you you have to wonder at times what you're doing out there over the years i've given myself a thousand reasons to keep running but it always comes back to where it started in other words his why what's the why why do we do this stuff it comes down to self satisfaction and a, and a sense of achievement right cool is I like this one too. Don't be afraid to to give up the good and go for the great. Again, about the why, having a big picture of what we're trying to do here. You know, what you're trying to do there at Trick Trucks and it's same day. You know, and same day has transformed itself. Actually, I, I'll share with everybody. I'm writing an article, Brian. One of my new articles coming up uh, is uh, Brian wrote a nice article for uh, for Tire Review. Which yes, he did. Very good. The May issue, and I'm I'm writing one now. I want to do on the, I'm calling it the transformation of same day automotive. It's going to be a, a 
a plug for you guys, of course, but it's really more more about how you transform the whole company, right? Really, right. Uh, and I, I got to collaborate as I write it. I'll, I'll share it with you, Randy, and with Danny, of course, and Dan, and we'll fine tune it. You know, because it's important what you guys are doing. Now, Curtis has increased his business 18% just by practicing the basics. Is that accurate, Curtis? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's uh, It's been a little bit of a push to get that culture changed, but uh, I think it's going in the right direction. I hear guys using it more and more in this, their standard, even conversations within like the showroom and stuff, not just on the phone, which right. I think is awesome. where the biggest... But that's where it really you really start to see it transforming, and they're using it face to face and not just over the phone as we're training. Yeah, and and you know, and, and the other thing is like this quote here talks about fatigue. I mean, you guys are entering the dog days of summer, right? It's going to get hot, nasty, 100 degrees out in Oklahoma. What does it go up to, Randy? Sometimes 110, 108. Yep. It can be 110, 108, pretty easy. You, can you imagine working on an engine in that or dealing with people in that? It's like by the time three or four o'clock in the afternoon rolls around, you're ready to blow your brains out, you know, but it's like being in a race. You know, you got to keep, keep your head in the game, you know, um, and this, I love this quote, to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift, you know? So I, pro I promised you guys, I was going to show you how I, how I practice singing which is not unlike box one, box two, box one, box two, box one, or running. Every workout has a purpose, right? When you're doing athletics, every workout has a purpose. Same thing, music, I think, is closely re related to the work that I'm, that you guys are doing. You're learning to sing a new song, right? Which, in, in essence. So here is... Um, Here's how I work with my vocal coach. I have a new vocal coach I really like. I've had about four or five vocal coaches over the last 28-year period, right? And this one I really like, Elizabeth Saunders. And so what she did, she – I'll just play this for you. When I do the national anthem, like you guys, there's no band. There's no orchestra. There's an opening. And if you don't hit the opening note just right, it's a pro it could be a problem as you get into the different parts of the song, especially the high part. So it's really critical. So here's what she did for me. Watch. So this is the, the purpose of this. Every note is played very deliberately. So I can practice along with it and, and get every note embedded in the nervous system. It has to be. <laughs> you know, on August 11th, I'll be performing in front of about 5,000 people to open up the National Triathlon Championships. About 6.45 in the morning. So that's a challenge right there. To sing that early in the morning is a challenge. And then when it's go time, they hand the microphone to you and you got to go. So I, I got to practice. I've got five weeks. And I'm going to practice like this, watch. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Oh, say can you see? hundreds of times between now and the time just to just to get that starting note in here in my living in my bones right that's one way now here's another practice i do this every morning right now it's, it's this little app fabulous app i got again as a vocalist well first i just want to say also just like we're practicing last week and today we're going to practice again the Box one, box two, the opening, boom. If you don't get it right, you lose people. If you do get it right, you wow them. You wow them, right? And after I perform the national anthem, I love when people come up to me with tears in their eyes. This happened. And they thank me for, for what I did. Anyway, you got to nail 
you're opening when that phone rings. The same thing. That's why we're practicing, practicing, practicing. Here's another way. This is a little app. This is cool. Watch this. This is practice. Get the hearing in touch with the vocals. That's the practice. Now they measure it. Oh. 85. I'm going down a little bit. Come on, did, Dan. I did 90 last time. That's I didn't all right. have, Yeah, anyway. Good, but that's the point. And then you practice all the all different range, all different keys. Practice, practice, practice. Just to get when you hear it, what you sing and what you hear have to be the have to be the same. Now before I I did promise you guys I was going to sing the national anthem. And I appreciate it. It's practice for me, right? I wanted to, um, uh, before I do it, because most people don't know the history of the national anthem. The United States declared war on Great Britain in the War of 1812. And the first move we made during the War of 1812 was to invade Canada. That's, that's a, little, a little trivia. For those of you that don't know that, the British controlled Canada at the time, and they had a headquarters in York, which is Ontario. So the United States, first move we made was to invade, invade Canada. Great trivia question at a party or something. You're out. You know, it sounds, right. sounds like the U.S. Right. To inv <laughs> to invade. Sounds like a South Park episode or something. To invade Canada, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Anyway, so the British got pissed off. They came back and burned Washington to the ground. Then they set their sights on taking Baltimore, which is not far from you, Curtis, right? They set their Correct. sights on, on, they sailed in hundreds of ships, the whole Navy into Baltimore Harbor. But right before the battle began, the president sent out Francis Scott Key to negotiate this, the release of a prisoner of war, a doctor that they were holding. And he did that. Francis Scott Key was a 33-year-old attorney, right? And so he did a favor, and he negotiated the release of this prisoner. But then the British commander said, you're not leaving just yet. You're going to watch the destruction of Fort McHenry. But, and this was a turning point in, in this war. The United States was no match for, for Great Britain. The, the thing that saved us was that British had to send all their troops and their ships over from great distance. So the battle began, and they... They bombarded the fort all night long. And in sunrise, Francis Scott Key and the doctor were amazed at what they saw. The, the, not only was the fort not destroyed, the British ran out of ammunition. They didn't destroy the fort. And the flag was still flying. So Francis Scott Key wrote a poem. He called it The Defense of Fort McHenry. It was later turned into a song to the melody of a, of a famous famous. British drinking song, which I don't know. I don't know how the drinking song went. But the national anthem, the way I do it, it goes like this. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we had? At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, get proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Better yet wait O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave 
Good job, Dan. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so that's that. Lots and lots and lots of practice. Um, to get it to that point, I'm not done with it. It's a never-ending, <laughs> never-ending practice to get that down. So for today, all I want to do, basics. This is Tuesday. Basics. Box one, box two, the very best energy, the very best mood, the very, very, very best that you can bring to to the game. And we got uh, Curtis and Too Tall. Too Tall Troy. Good, good morning, good morning, Troy. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. I'm on, good morning. How y'all doing? We're doing fine, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I know y'all have been busy over there too. Uh, everybody's busy. Sure. Curtis is talking about how busy they've been. We, I know we were busy at Southern Hills yesterday. But what we're going to do today is, like Dan said, thank you, Dan, for sharing that with us. The reality is, is that um, you know, like Dan said, that's continuously practicing. My one of my sayings, my uh, I put it on my uh, personal business cards, not the company business cards, but personal business cards I might hand to somebody about my fishing. You know, when I, I'm a fly fisherman i love to fly fish and sometimes i have cards made up and on it that says good enough never is well that's my grandfather saying was good enough never is so just remember that that we continually practice so this today is about bringing what you got and practicing on what you have uh and, and getting better and better and better at it so i'm going to call on curtis this morning curtis i'm going to be the customer <clears throat> i'm going to call we got brian listening here everybody's listening we're just going to be commenting on it, but just here we go. Ring a ling a ling. Good morning. Thanks for calling In and Out Tire Pros. This is Curtis. I may help you. Hey Curtis, y'all do, do uh, those suspension lift kits down there, don't you? I need to get something done to my Jeep. Awesome. I can definitely help you with that. Who am I speaking to today? Uh, this is Randy. Perfect, Randy. Hey Randy, have you been here before? No, I heard good stuff about you though. Y'all do. I heard y'all do really good work. Yeah, we try to keep that. Um, but uh, great. How did you find out about our business here? Uh, just word of mouth. That's perfect. That's my best type of customer, man. All right. So what uh, what kind what kind of lift kit are you looking for, and what kind of vehicle are we talking about? Oh, I'm just looking for a simple lift. You know, maybe about a five inch or something like that. Oh, that's perfect. I can definitely help you with that. Uh, just to let you know that we have ASC certified techs here doing all our work. We got two alignment racks on site, so not only can we take care of this lift for you, we can service the vehicle after it's done. All right, so installed on a lift like that, you're going to be about 2300 installed with alignment. It looks like I have availability for uh, this coming up Tuesday to, or Wednesday to drop it off, get it done in one day for you. How's that sound? Uh, that sounds about what I was looking for. Perfect. Let me get your name and phone number, and I can get you all set up for it. All right, 918-697-1460. Awesome, Randy. My name's Curtis. We're going to get you all set up, and we're going to take great care of you. Great. Okay. Thanks, Curtis. Good job, Curtis. Here, this is great because Curtis does this. Now, Curtis, I, I know that may be a typical call. Is that typical something? Uh, you know, that's a that's a very fast paced uh, lift kit sale because there's <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot more information and uh, okay, good good that you said that. Word. I was I laughing myself. So Randy said, oh, "Just a simple lift, you know, yeah. five inch no, lift." Yeah. Like yeah. That. <laughs> Most people think that a simple five inch, you know, okay, I just want to go, hey, can I go 12 inches? That ain't much That ain't much more. You know, well, that's it, it a lot more. But the reality is, is, Curtis, that when you deal with this every day, day in and day out, it becomes pretty much second nature for you to, to go through that pattern. But I want you to change your pattern just a little bit. I want you to think about this just a second, is that you did an outstanding job, you know, uh, introducing yourself and your company and, and what you do and about your lifts and all that. I heard all that. Um, heard every bit of it. Uh, it. The cool part about it is when you get down to that point to where you say, "Sir, I want you to know something. I want you to I want you to practice this." Sir, I want you to know something. This is not just about a lift kit to me. Okay, this is about me becoming your four wheel drive guy for life. I want to be the guy that anytime you need anything like an oil change or Maybe you're something simple like a just alignment or maybe tires. I'll be the one that you call. I want to be that guy for you, okay? Yeah, declare and myself. Happens. Yes. Yeah. And they say, okay. And he go, he'd go, okay. Yeah, I would have said, okay. Yeah, that's cool, man. I appreciate that. 
And that's what you want them to do. You want them to have that internal wow factor, whether they say it out loud or not. You want to put something in there that makes them go, wow, I, I wasn't really expecting that Curtis guy to say that, but I'm glad he did because it makes me feel good on the inside. That's kind of think- response. Go ahead. I don't think people ver- hear that very often either. So I think it it's a it's they not don't. a typical thing that you would hear in any given day. So when you hear it, it's actually something new, unfamiliar, and makes you think. Well, well sure. yes, what? yes, yes, Curtis, but it, it is new and unique. But it's what they crave at the biological level. Oh yeah. It, they because they can't survive without a car guy. And when you declare yourself to be that guy, they go. Oh yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> and what I mean by saying that is like I don't hear it in a lot of places I go. So when you say right. something like that and it'll resonate with people to where nice. they'll remember you for that. Yes. Let me and, ask you a yeah. let me ask you a simple question. If you went to the dentist and your dentist said, Listen, I want to be your dentist for life. You ever need anything, you call me. You went to you know, you go anywhere. You go uh you, let's say you went to Starbucks and you went to Starbucks and a and a person on the counter said, Listen, I know you, you know me. I want to be your Starbucks person for life. I want to be known as the guy that ever you tell everybody to go buy their coffee for me. You know, what difference would that make? It, you probably wouldn't go anywhere else, correct? Right. You, you, yeah. you, your chances your well, chances are a lot better that, that you're going to go back to that same person over and over and over and over and over and over again. Well, you know they want to take care of you. Yeah. Yes. They, they expressed it. They expressed yeah. it. They They said it out loud. Um, they made so themselves they very important. They carry you. They want to take care of you. Yeah, great job though. The only, so yeah, just, the, only, the only thing, Curtis, I bring again, like performing, like a vocalist. You know, you got to you nail, bring the energy because it's that first instance where where people say, "Oh, this is going to be good," right? This band yeah. knows what they're doing. This guy can sing this. You know, like boom, that's what you want to leave them with. So, bring. I thought that was a great performance. The energy could have been a little bit jacked up. Ask, I got a question for Troy and for for Curtis too, and Brian. Uh, when we listen, if y'all watch movies, does everybody watch some movies to watch some television? I mean, yeah, yeah. Curtis. Okay. When you go into a movie or a series or something, uh, let's just use it this way. And the, the in the first few seconds of the music movie, the music, the composition of the music can tell you whether you're going to enjoy this or not. I, it can for me. i tell you where I learned that from. Really, I learned it from my son-in-law. He is unbelievably uh, sharp about soundtracks and how things happen and why they put them in certain places. He's really, really sharp. And I got to paying attention to what he was talking about. And he says that just the beginning of the movie will set the whole mood of how he feels through the rest of the movie. So think about that just for a second. On a movie that you might have dialed in on a Sunday afternoon on TV that you go, I'm going to watch this movie. And you click the remote, and then you, you listen to the first two minutes of it. You go, nah, I don't care about that. Let me move, let me find something else. Has that ever happened? 100%. Sure. All right. Yeah, they, so there you go. There's your there's some inner feelings like Dan's talking about. We crave that. We want to feel like we're part of it. And when we don't feel like we're part of it, we're not we're not uh, engaged in it as much. So when you when you make that declaration, you have called the right place, sir. I can definitely help you with that. That's my mission. That's why I'm here today. If that person's wanting to hear that, they're going to hang with you all the way through the conversation. So just keep that in the back of your mind, Curtis, and as you as you work through all this. Too tall, too tall, yes, Troy. Let's go, Troy. I'm going to call you. Here we go. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, say can you see? <laughs> wrong, wrong thing. Sorry. We need to try again. Try again. Which reports are we doing again? I got confused. Yeah, we're doing the same day. Okay. That might go. be a good way to answer the phone right, in the next yeah. couple of wrong, days. Wrong, wrong cap on. Sorry. Try again. That might yeah, not that be might. a better way to answer the next two no, days. See, listen, joking, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> joking, joking around, but it creates. Look what it did. Now, here's the magic of what, what I'm trying to get you guys to see. The magic is you did something out of the ordinary, you captivated, you made everybody laugh, you ch- you shifted the mood in the whole in the whole place, you know? So it was like really pretty cool. That's the power, that's the power we all have as human beings to shake people up, to be a disruptor, right? Those right. people show up in your life and they got problems. And you go in, when you go in with your big voice 
right? And you, the, the energy, and you go in, you literally reach through the phone and you mess with their physiology. You, you jumble it all up. And you did that to everybody just now. They're all cracked up. Yep. Exactly. That's cool. That's power. <laughs> then in the Don't opening, the day, like you come down today and I'm going to sing the national anthem for you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, job, well, Joy. All right, here we go. Ring a ling a ling. Well, it's a fantastic day here at Same Day Auto Repair. This is too tall, Troy. How can I make your day better? <laughs> hey, Troy. Uh, I need to get some. I need to get some. Somebody look at my brakes. My brakes are making a noise. I can definitely help you with that. Who am I speaking with today? This is Randy. Hey, Randy. Have you done business here with me before? No, this is my first time, man. I just want you to know you've called the right place, not just for your brakes, but we are your bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto repair and maintenance center. We can take care of you here in Berry Hill, and I'm going to get you looked at today. Let me check my schedule real quick. Hey, good news. I have a no-wait appointment for you right now, and I've got another appointment at 1.30. Uh, we're going to get you in here. We're going to have those brakes looked at, put your car up on the lift. My ASE certified technicians are going to take apart the hardware and see what needs to be maintained for you. And then I'm going to get you an accurate estimate so you know what you need to do to be safe back on the road. So did you want to come in now or is 1.30 better for you? Hey, can I come in right now? Absolutely. Like I said, my name is Too Tall Troy. I'm going to be right here on your left as you come in the door. Do you know where we're located? Uh, yeah, I know right there on, on uh, right there by American Heritage Bank. Fantastic. Let me get a telephone number for you, if I could, please, sir. Yes, sir. That's 918-697-1460. 918-697-1460. Yes, sir. Randy, my, again, my name's Too Tall Troy. This is Same Day Auto, and we're going to make your day better, okay? Dude, I'm feeling good about it already. I'll be down there, okay? All right. We'll see you soon. All right. That was a thing of beauty. Joy, fantastic. The whole thing. Now, here's what, Curtis, listen to what I'm going to tell you is, Curtis, this is so, so unbelievable because here's why it's unbelievable. Troy has figured out why we practice, okay? Troy is expressing himself to everybody here, me, you, uh, uh, Dan, uh, Brian, everybody that c t dialed in, he's expressing himself. He's experimenting and expressing his expression. So I don't know how to say that any other way. He's putting it out there. So what happens then, if he dial, even if he dials it down a little bit, he's going to be over and above anybody else that that person may call for the rest of the day. He's going to no, be over and above. No, he did a really good job. Anxiety. Yeah, yeah he, excitement is going to be there. Yeah, everything's going to be there for him. Yeah, so you good. just gotta you gotta yeah. imagine what that would make somebody feel like on the other end of the line. Great job, Troy. Great yeah, pra example. Practice Thank that. You. Practice that, Curtis. Just come up with some kind of crazy way to boom to start off the conversation. With crazy energy, you know, and to to people go, wow, these guys are nuts. I gotta go down. See, I never heard anybody like this yeah, before. You don't know what's going on down there. This right. guy's wound up, you know. Right. So too tall, Troy. I like that. Thank you, Troy. Hey, by the way, I'd let, let everybody know this is only Troy had a record month last month. Uh, I mean, they did. They they've actually pushed themselves and keep pushing themselves and pushing themselves. I mean, they actually brought themselves out of a negative. Dan, a couple of months ago, they were kind of in the negative, and they have increased their, their themselves uh, in a matter of just a couple of months to a. Well, how much was it, Troy? Well, we were down 35% at the end of April, and we're up about 6% uh, on the year um, now. So we've made about a 41% swing uh, since the beginning <laughs> yep. of the year. And, and last, cool. last month was 26 or 27% ab above last year, uh, June. So. And Troy is basically just basically taking over the Sand Springs store. So we've had a presence there. Billy's been there forever. And now Troy go. has begun to own that own that position. You know, it takes a little time when you when you switch somebody up that's been there for years, and then you bring a new face in. People have to warm up to you. Well, Troy's done a very good job of that, and Troy, I applaud you for that. Um, yeah, it, there's it, nothing it, you it, can't do, Troy. Absolutely nothing you can't do, buddy, with that energy and that mood. You know, and take every customer interaction just like you did there, boom. And there's no reason mm -hmm. you can't be 20 plus every month for the rest of the year and be wind up being 20 for the year. I mean, there's no reason. You can still got six months left. Right? Yes. Absolutely. You can do it. Yeah. Yep. Good job. That's the goal. Yeah, that's good. Great good job, Troy. Great job, Curtis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Really great work. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations, Troy, on that.
Yeah. Oh, thanks. Um, okay, guys. We'll see y'all next time. Hey, listen. By the way, have uh, have a safe Fourth of July and a happy safe Fourth of July. I want to be here. I'm going to be on vacation for the next couple of weeks. So Dan's going. He's, he's going to. Have to I, I I forgot, Ray. I'm sorry. I I was just thinking with Brian on the call. Brian is putting together. We we issue certifications for people. So Brian is in the process of putting together the next list of people that have been certified level one way approach. So we'll be issuing certificates pretty soon. Right, Brian? Right. Brian, yep. yeah. there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on it. So Fantastic. you can expect that. Yeah, so it's going to be very good, very cool. We'll get have little award ceremonies and handouts. It means something, guys. I mean, here's the thing. When you become Malloy certified in the language of commitment, and power sales training, it means you know stuff people that the average Joe doesn't know. You can communicate at a level like <laughs> the average people don't understand. The other thing it does is like Randy says, it's same day when they have, when a new guy comes in, everybody, all the managers, all the employees can stand there in the room and look him in the eye and say, look, there's ways we communicate here at same day. This is how we do it. And if the, if the, if the people don't measure up to that, then <laughs> they can't work there. It's really that simple, you know, and the same thing. And, and uh, uh, in and out and trick trucks is doing the same thing. There's ways we communicate here. We have, a, we have an approach, just like there's ways we handle waste oil, technology, money. Standard operating procedure. Right. This is how we go to market. This is how yeah. we do it. I I said to Randy the other night at our meeting that it, it, whenever you come to work, you put on a uniform for your body. At the same time, you put on a uniform way of speaking. That is your the, the general way that you speak to customers and to your other employees. It's just like any other job. You have a certain way of doing things in order to complete the job in the way that the business owners expect. And this is what it, what's, uh, what's expected at this particular uh, business. Yes, that, that's right. Brilliant, Troy. Fabulous. I love it. Uh, the transformation of same day automotive. <laughs> like that. That's cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, we Troy. really appreciate you, Troy. Thanks, and you too, Curtis. Thanks for coming. Come back. Come back, Troy. Come back, Curtis. All right. We'll do. See you. Okay, we'll see you. Bye now. All right. You guys take care. Happy Fourth. Right. You Be too, good. Troy.